Hi Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing very, very well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Scorpio. And we'll take a look at the cards for the awareness for the week, for guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards and we'll see what the uh, messages are for. Okay, so we have judgment, the major arcana. And judgment, you see the angel here blowing the, the horn. It's like the fanfare, which is saying, come and listen. And so really it's a call to action to you. And that's to think about your life, to think about where you are right now. What is it that you feel that could be missing? What is it that is not allowing you to reach your highest purpose, your highest self, your life purpose? You know, everyone has a chance to be uh, reborn, to be awakened, to change the course, to change direction, to allow transformation to take place. And, you know, you can have a clean slate and start fresh. You know, that's part of the cleansing here of judgment, which is this ability to not let um, is to, to really to get the call and to say I need to make some changes here and I'm changing from this point forward everything is in this fresher newer light and so with judgment uh, it's often you know it's never too late to make changes to bring you closer to what it is that's going to bring you fulfillment joy and the realization that you are this authentic you with respect to life purpose and higher self. So the chance for being reborn and being awakened, awakened to the call and the call to you that now's the time. Now's the time to take stock. And so a lovely card with that is the chariot. Major Arcana. And the chariot is your control, your abilities, your talent, your mastery in moving forward. So perhaps when you make the choice of what you're going to do to get to your higher purpose, the chariot moves you along the path toward that goal, toward that direction. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy. There could be challenges black and white horses, maybe they want to go in different directions. You're going to have the skill and the mastery to get them back on track. This is about movement. It's about progress. And it's about your firm control. You have the reins in your hand. You are calling the shots. And so at a literal level, maybe this week you are getting in your chariot and heading off somewhere and have travel on your, you know, on your schedule. But in a uh, larger sense, this is about moving forward. And the nice thing about the chariot, the chariot indicates success, that you will have victory, that you will be recognized and understood that you are finding success in whatever it is that you're pursuing, whether it's relationships or work. Uh, your, your calling, you are going to change directions perhaps and move forward into a calling that is more suitable for you. So in terms of guidance, okay, so we have the Four of Wands. With Wands energy, we have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire signs. And so you see this couple here on their horse, it looks almost ceremonial. This is a card of, if you're in a relationship, this bodes well, that perhaps you're thinking about making it more com committed, an engagement, perhaps moving in or getting married. If you are already in a relationship, this could be an opportunity to celebrate a milestone, because really this is about bringing people together to celebrate, friends, family, loved ones, where we attend the traditions in our, you know, in our lives, the birthday parties, the graduation parties, promotion parties, retirement, marriages, baby showers. It's bringing people together to celebrate. 
And with this illustration, you really get a sense of love here and, and, and the sense of a couple. And many, uh, typically, they'll say this is the marriage card. So if you're moving in that direction, this is favorable for you. That if your calling is to make marriage a part of your life and you're uh, moving forward, uh, it's, it's success and then happiness and celebration here. Then we have the Six of Cups, the connection with our emotions, Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And you see the little child kind of reaching for the adult and the sparkle there. This is a card of gentleness, of kindness, and consideration of how people should treat each other. It's also a card of nostalgia, of memories, connecting with your memories of finding comfort in something from the past. Not living in the past, but finding uh, solace perhaps or something that puts a smile on your face when it comes to uh, thinking of the past. And maybe it's just a scent that you smell that reminds you of, of your early life or a place where you lived. Maybe it's the ocean that you, you grew up near the ocean and you have that scent in your head. So, you know, so the Six of Cups is this magical card because it makes you think about what you had and you can connect very favorably. Again, the downside is to live in the past and to be stuck there and to not move forward. Uh, on a literal level, maybe you are reconnecting with someone from your past and maybe uh, the positivity comes from this is that uh, you've been fortunate enough to reconnect and maybe things are different now and in a better spot. So something to think about. Now let's look at possible outcomes. So possible outcomes. So this Four of Swords, you can really see the contrast with the colors of the red and then the snow. So the Four of Swords is really taking uh, a time out to restore, to recover, to re-energize yourself. It's from, you're taking a time out really from a situation. And so maybe a situation has been uh, zapping you of your energy and you need to simply take a break and you need to recover. Perhaps there's a situation that you're having to think about and coming up with a new approach and you need time to remove yourself, to have a little isolation and to recover, to come back stronger, to come back refreshed, to come back uh, reinvigorated with perhaps new ideas. But this is, uh, you know, there's, there is movement here with this chariot and uh, this could be dictating that your pace, you know, the movement that you might need to just take a step back to collect yourself to get some rest this week. Don't overdo it. So with this Four of Swords, we have the Page of Swords. And so the Page of Swords is someone who is youthful and is often on the lookout. On the lookout for things that may happen possible challenges or, or, or adversity or obstacles. And the Page of Swords is youthful in his or her energy and how they approach things, which is they're going to approach things from an analytical point of view, from rationally based, less emotional, but they feel on the ready. Like, I'm going to be able to handle whatever it is. I'm going to use my smarts. I'm going to use my thinking to strategize and to come up with strategies. And so, you know, when I see these two sword cards together, I get a sense here of the thinking is important, the truthfulness of a matter is, is important, getting to the heart of the matter, looking at the facts, not getting swayed by emotions. And this fresh new approach coming from getting a time out, of taking a time out, And so uh, maybe it's related to the Six of Cups and the connection to the past where maybe you need to think about taking a step back and considering possibilities. But you know, this is a card that tells me that you're ready. 
you're ready for whatever's coming your way. So this is a interesting spread with judgment and the chariot. Two big idea cards of movement, of victory, of mastering obstacles. Thinking about your life purpose, you have opportunities for either commitment, happy relationships, celebrating, thinking of the past, hopefully warmly. And then the swords here, which is despite all this good stuff, be prepared. Be mindful. Think of your thinking, you know. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards, and this will be a meditation point or a focus area for the week. The Camel Boy, small steps, asking for help. Asking for help, small steps. I really like the idea of small steps, which is incremental and progressive progress. You know, you're just doing things reasonably, not biting off more than you can chew. And if there's situations where you need help, ask for it. More than likely, people want to help. You know, if you need help, swallow your pride if you're if you feel that you can't ask for help and just mention it make the call ask a friend i need a little assistance here what how can you help me maybe it's just supportive words but um don't be afraid to ask for help and i love the idea of small steps small steps ultimately will get you to cross that finish line and finally let's take a look at well not finally Let's take a look at spirit and uh, spiritual self, emotional self. Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. And relationships are at the heart of everything we do, how we interact with people, how we treat them, how we view them, how we, uh, you know, how we have the relationship with ourselves as well. So uh, as this week progressive, your relationships, again, six of cups, four of wands, opportunities, opportunities to be around lots of people. And finally, let's see what our card for love will tell us. Wild abandon, luck. So they all jumped in the pool and they're having fun and uh, feeling free, feeling carefree. So along the way, as you are thinking about the issues in your life and making progress and making movement, I would say that in your celebrations and with your partner, or your person that you're dating, uh, or with your friends simply, is to have something of that's freeing and fun. And you know, maybe it's going to the county fair and riding the roller coaster or you know, doing the crazy rides or things. It's something maybe out of your ordinary daily life is to give yourself um, an opportunity to be feeling free. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that something resonates with you. If it does, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment is always helpful and greatly appreciated. And I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next week for another reading.